this short video, we're going to look at a geometric interpretation of the first order partial derivatives. So suppose we have a surface, in this case, the specific surface z equals 7xy over raised to the power of x squared plus y squared. And we'd like to understand geometrically the partial derivatives with respect to x and with respect to y when x and y are both equal to 1. So really, we're trying to find something about the rate of change in the height of the surface, that's the z value, at the point on the surface with coordinates x equals 1, y equals 1, and z equals 7 e to the negative 2 power. And you just get that z value by putting x and y equals 1 into the formula. So our idea of partial derivatives is that we're going to fix or keep constant the y value, in this case y equals 1, and we're going to let x vary. And so if we just say, okay, let's use a parameter for x. x will be the t any value t. The resulting function is going to give us a curve, this magenta curve here, which runs along the surf on the on top of the surface and is parallel to the x z plane. And in fact, it's not hard to figure out what the parametric representation would be for that curve. We know that y is fixed to be 1, x is our parameter t, and so then if I just put y equals 1 and x equals t into the formula for z, then I've got my parameterization for that particular curve. So now I have my curve, I've got a point there. I know there's a tangent line to that curve. The slope of that tangent line is the value of the partial derivative at that given point. We can do a similar thing for the partial derivative with respect to y. So now we're going to have x is going to be the fixed value, x equals 1, and y is going to vary. We're going to get a different curve, this white curve. It also runs along the surface. And uh, we can figure out uh, its parametric representation. x is going to be 1, constant 1, y varies as t, and then if I put again uh, x equals 1, y equals t, I'll get the equation for the z component of that vector representation of the curve. And so at the point p, the slope of the tangent line there is going to be the partial derivative with respect to y. So our uh, partial derivatives then are actually slopes of tangent lines of these curves that are running parallel to the uh, zy plane or the xz plane. Uh, and uh, run along the surface. And that's really our geometric interpretation. And so the idea is that uh, really the partial derivative with respect to x is telling me essentially how the surface is changing in the positive x direction or the positive i direction. And the partial derivative with respect to y is telling me how the surface is changing in the direction of positive j, or 
the positive y direction. So we'll be using this interpretation in the next section when we study the equation of tangent planes.